Now to an ABC News exclusive with a family who lost their 13 year old daughter in a tragic tubing accident in Aruba. Gio Benitez sat down with her parents and is back with their warning for travelers. Good morning again, Gio. Hey, Michael, good morning again. This is a family very much in pain, and yet here they are sitting down with us, telling their story for the first time, hoping other families hear them loud and clear. We didn't know the dangers. We, we weren't aware. It's an urgent plea from a family desperate to make sure what happened to them doesn't happen to anyone else. Linda and Dave Murray losing their 13-year-old daughter Cassidy in a tubing accident in Aruba last March. You've never told your story before. Why now? It's coming up on almost a year um, since she passed. Our goal has always been to create awareness to prevent another family to go from going through this. The Murrays were on vacation in paradise. A day before they were scheduled to go home, Cassidy wanted to go tubing, so her dad joined her, finding fun for everyone on the beach, which advertises itself as giving the best water sports adventure on Aruba. Cassidy, her dad, and the driver heading out on the water. The only instruction they basically gave me were three signs that if you wanted to go faster, your tongue was up. If the speed was good, your tongue was at three o'clock or if you wanted to stop, your thumb is down. And there was a lot of boats out there, jet skis out there, to a point where um, the water was, was fairly rough. Five minutes into the ride, Cassidy got ejected into the water. It took me at least 30 seconds to get his attention by whistling at him and shouting at him. She was in the water, had her life jacket on. I waved at her, she was safe, she knew the boat was coming back. As he approached Cassidy, just as he got to her, he lost control of the boat. He put it in full throttle. The boat hitting Cassidy. David says the driver froze before helping him get his daughter back to shore. The gentleman driving the boat, he had no, he had no first aid. Even if there was a spotter, he would have seen, we would have had an option to slow it down, or he would have seen as soon as Cassidy was ejected. Two doctors from Massachusetts who happened to be on shore, jumping in to help before EMTs arrived, but it wasn't enough. The prosecutor's office reviewing the case, finding no criminal offense. You're not suing. Why have you chosen not to do that? The laws are wildly different um, outside the U.S. Um, and there's, it's, it's, it's just not something that we've chosen to focus on. You're going directly to the prime minister. You're going directly to the tourism board to try to get real change and make that happen. Yeah, yes. that's the only comfort that we can get from this. Aruban officials telling ABC News, the government of Aruba takes seriously the safety and well-being of our visitors and residents, and they assess a wide range of current and potential safety protocols and take steps to ensure our rules and procedures are adhered to. Experts say when booking excursions outside the U.S., use extra caution. Ask the company if they have a license and insurance. Check for safety equipment on board. And like the Murrays say, make sure there's an observer watching people in the water. You want to have other folks that are on the boat also looking out at all times. Make sure the captain is, is following, say, good safety protocols. The regulations where you're going may not be the same as they are in our country. Let's fire beware. Be careful. Do your due diligence. Cassidy's parents and brother now determined to honor her. She is living her life through me now, and I have to live it to the fullest for the both of us. The family on a mission. My hope is that, you know, someone is standing at the end, edge of the beach and about to step on a boat and says, wait, remember that interview? Wait, remember what that, that family said? Maybe we should check for this. Maybe we should ask this question. And ABC News reached out to the owner of Fun for Everyone, but we did not get a response. But guys, I just got to talk about this family's strength because here they are suffering this unimaginable loss, and yet they're trying to turn this around so soon after this happened to help others. It's just incredibly, incredibly powerful. Thank guys. you, Gio, for bringing that to us. And it's just as that mother said, there's mm. going to be somebody who's going to recall that interview and going to think twice when they're in a situation. Exactly. Yeah. With such grace in that family. It really is. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.